Hi, it's a Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to tackle another 2021 makeup trend. This is bold eyeshadow. Since a lot of us are going to be, you know, still continuing to wear masks throughout 2021, the idea of makeup from like the bridge of our nose up has really blown up. A lot of people have already been doing this trend, bold eyeliner, colorful mascara, all of those are trends for this year as well. But I wanted to tackle something that really puts me outside my comfort zone, which is colorful eyeshadow. I normally live in neutral shadows. Very frequently, you'll see me, if I'm wearing makeup, I'll do my brows. I won't do anything here. I'll put on blush and lipstick, concealer, and call it good. So this is really, something that uh, makes me nervous. The other thing is this whole idea of, of checking these trends for 2021 is are they gonna work well for someone over the age of 40? I already have my lids primed with a Milani eyeshadow primer and I wanted to start with just a really soft kind of neutral brown, I know. I gotta give myself just a little bit of comfort, okay? I'm gonna use this single here, this is San Jose. It's kind of a almost pinky toned neutral brown. I think that might be a good place to start just to put a little definition in my crease. I really want this to be a very purple look so I'm just kind of using this as a guideline of how far I want the shadow to go up and not any farther. And, and that's just to make me feel like I can confidently leave the house because I still have other things to do today. Oh. Okay that just kind of blocks out about as far up as I want the color to go. I'm gonna start with a shade that I love that I've used, I think, twice, but really, really, you know, just a little hint of color. But it comes from the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson collab, the Tiny Marbles palette. It's this shade right here called Jewel Bee. It is a bright pastel lavender shade, and <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna place this kind of in the same place where I had the other shadow. I was worried that if I just came in with color, I would get it kind of everywhere. I, I do that anyway. I'm trying not to. I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush here just to increase my precision application that I'm looking for. I'm willing to try something that I normally wouldn't do just because, you know, it's something that's new for the year. I also, even though I don't always follow them, I do like to know what the trends are. My two girls are starting to get to the point where they are asking questions like, you know, what's cool or what are people wearing? And I remember when I was growing up, you know, there were magazines laying around the house. They weren't necessarily like, you know, Vogue or Cosmopolitan. My mom was more of a Red Book and a Better Homes and Gardens, but you can't go through a woman's magazine without seeing an ad for makeup or clothing or something. And so I kind of felt like I knew what was kind of going on. And I, I watched a lot of television as a kid too. Um, we don't have regular TV. We just have streaming services, which means there's no commercial. So my kids kind of don't know. And they go to a school where they wear uniforms. <laughs> so they don't have a lot of uh, outside influence. And I don't get any magazine, I mean, like we do, we get National Geographic. <laughs> but that's not gonna keep you up to date on um, the sorts of trends that there are out there. So even though I am not a super trendy person, I like to know what they are because my girls are getting to the age where they want to know, is this cool or does this look all right? This is another Sydney Grace single. This one is called Pandora. I'm going to put it back in my palette and I'm going to pick a little bit of it up with this smaller brush here. And I'm just going to give myself a little bit more depth on the outside. So if you happen to want to try this colorful eyeshadow look, this is where I remind you, you don't have to use exactly what I have. Go through your eyeshadow and look at stuff and, you know, what do you have a lot of? Do you have a lot of purples? Do you have a lot of pinks? Maybe you like greens. Um, it doesn't have to be a pastel look either. This is going to be a little bit more pastel-y, but what if you like more bold jewel tones, garnets, emeralds, like a topaz shade, whatever calls to you, I think that this look would lend itself well, and it's just a matter of 
finding colors that work well together. And nobody says they all have to be monochromatic and in the same color family. That's kind of the way I'm leaning today, but that's just because that's what tickled my fancy. So you could definitely get some really bold, fun eyeshadows together and mix some complementary shades and really build a fun look. At this point, I'm gonna take a clean brush and just kind of blend up closer to my eyebrow. I wanna soften this so you don't have such a harsh, you know, skin tone. Um, I just kinda of wanna feather this out a little bit. I'm gonna add one more shade on the lid, something a little sparkly, something a little duochrome-y. I'm liking how this is a little fuzzy here at the edge compared to a little harsh over here. So I'm just gonna keep blending for a minute. I'm gonna throw on a pressed pigment from Sydney Grace. This one's called Totally Worth It. I'm gonna do a real light dusting of this right over the kind of center of my lid. I don't want it to be too intense because I mean, I could really build this up, but my goal is to leave just kind of a little shimmery hint. I'm gonna put on some concealer and uh, buff some of these same colors under my lower lash line and I'll be right back. So last week I tried this palette, the Alva palette from Odin's Eye and I fell in love with the shade in here that I definitely wanted to incorporate into my look today. And it's this shade right here, this is called Lilac. It is the prettiest duochrome shifty shade and I wanna put that in my inner corner and a little bit on my lower lash line right in the inner tear duct area. So I'm just gonna pick some up on um, a brush and just kind of, and what's so fun about this is it has some pink and blue kind of shifty sparkle to it. And it brings such a fun ethereal look. I thought if we're gonna, you know, be playing full on with purple today, let's just, let's just really have fun. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I really like this look. I think it's really pretty. I love this kind of lilac-y, you know, blown out purple eye. It, it is bringing me so much like just joy right now. And it could be that, you know, a week ago the weather was warm enough for me to be wearing like sleeveless, you know, a sleeveless shirt in the house and I wasn't cold. And now I'm like wrapped up in multiple layers again because, you know, the weather changes. It's springtime in the Pacific Northwest. You never know what's gonna happen here. Um, but the reason that I think that people are really going for this bright eyes because look how good it looks underneath the mask. I mean, doesn't it look great? I love it. I also wanted to go with the neutral lip. I do have a Zoom meeting later today and I thought that I'd really let the eyes stand out, but I think this is fun makeup. Now there are so many places on the internet that you're gonna read, you know, women of a certain age shouldn't wear this finish of makeup or this trend or this type of clothing or have a haircut like this. And I think that's just a bunch of baloney. Don't listen to that. It comes down to, do you feel confident? Do you feel attractive? Do you, does it make you feel pretty? Does it make you happy? I think that's really what style is all about because when you have that internal like, oh, I feel so good, it just exudes from you. And that's what this purple eye is giving me. Somebody else may look at me and be like, what is that old lady doing wearing that purple eyeshadow? But the joie de vivre that I'm gonna have for the rest of the day, <laughs> I'm gonna, and I'm gonna attribute it all to this purple eyeshadow. So I think that a look like this definitely works over the age of 40, but only if it brings you the same amount of joy. And, and this is when, again, I remind you, I'm a neutral gal, and there are so many days that I don't even wear eyeshadow. I'll wear other you know, aspects of makeup and, and not eyeshadow. But sometimes taking the time to do this, it was like a shot in the arm. It's, it's like the heavens opened up and the sun is shining directly on me today. It brings me a lot of joy. And I feel like that's what makeup should do. And in the end, does it doesn't matter because it washes off. That's the other great part about it is yesterday I could have been like no makeup at all. Today, bright purple. Tomorrow, soft neutrals. You know, barely there eyeshadow. You know, that's what's great about makeup. You don't really have to commit. It can be different every single time. 
I would love to know if you are inspired to wear a bright, bold, colorful eye. Let me know in the comments down below and what your preferred color combo would be. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you again soon. Bye.